You can use perplexity to analyze and learn virtually anything. For example, I can use perplexity to analyze this YouTube video from TED and it got almost 60 million views. And perplexity is able to generate this breakdown of that video. So it tells me about the content structure, the audience engagement, visual presentation, and some other elements and key aspects that I could learn from, from the video. And maybe I could follow the strategy from the video on my next content. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use perplexity AI to basically analyze any successful YouTube video and a few key points that you could learn from it. So let's go to perplexity.ai and then you can log in with your account. Here, I'm gonna be using this AI prompt and don't worry, I'm going to leave the full prompt in the video description. And for this example, I'll try to analyze this YouTube video from Linus Tech Tips and this video um, got almost 24 million views and that's definitely an outlier because this channel, I've been watching this channel a lot and it's usually only get like tw two to three millions and it is not 23 million, so it's it is something uh, that is unusual and perhaps there is something that is unique from this video that maybe I could learn and emul emulate on my next video. So I'm going to copy this video link and let's paste that to perplexity just after the prompt. And after that, uh, you can use either the regular search, the deep research mode, which will give you much deeper and thorough answer or you can also use the perplexity labs mode and i do recommend to use that mode because it, it is able to generate uh, some content not only just text but also some visual content like this you know this uh, nice design and also some charts or graphs that will make the content consumption a lot easier so i do recommend to use that but if you don't have access to perplexity labs then feel free to just use the regular search or deep research mode now let's click this and enable web and also social search and then send a message to perplexity and just wait for it to analyze do the research and we'll create an interactive report that you can explore later on so this process will take usually about five to ten minutes so i guess i'll just skip forward and show you the result All right, after about 10 minutes, this is the answer that Perplexity generated for me. So let's click view full screen to see the full page. <laughs> and basically we can start learning from the video. And there are multiple sections here. There is the success factors, content structure, engagement, etc. And yeah, I think this is definitely going to be useful information for anyone that wants to create a video or mimicking the style or strategy from that YouTube video. Let's go to the content structure and yeah, there is this timestamp, which is something that AI is able to do. I actually have made a video on how you can create a captions timestamp from a YouTube video. And yeah, this is de definitely possible. And there is also engagement techniques. So yeah, this information, okay, there is something here that I need to mention here is that perplexity is able to check the YouTube title, description, the number of comments, views, etc and also the caption so it knows exactly what's being spoken in the video but it doesn't know about maybe some visual effects some audio effect in the video it doesn't know that so this information is based only from the caption or anything that is available directly in the video and okay i think this is actually a great point let's continue to do seo analysis and yeah there is face presence product showcase yes the length of the title i guess clarity contrast okay that one is quite interesting that uh, it's actually able to see the thumbnail i guess that's something that perplexity can do and by the way if you want to make sure that perplexity is actually getting the information from reliable sources then you can go to the step section right here and you can see the thinking process of ai before giving you that information now if you go back here you see that there is this key takeaway section that basically tells you uh, a few key points from the video that you could learn and apply on your next video so i think that's actually quite a useful way to utilize perplexity to learn from a youtube video so that's basically how you can do it you can always check the video description to get the full prompt and thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you around